and uh, I'm here to introduce Rick Carnell. He is a principal executive with Apergata Technologies, and he is an expert in business process management, and he's going to talk about cloud computing, the next BPM frontier. So without further ado, I will turn, the, turn it over to Rick. Well, thank you, and good afternoon to everyone. Uh, my name is Rick Parnell, and as a, uh, an IT degreed computer scientist with a minor in business administration, I remember looking at my first data modeling console, um, which sort of resembles the uh, inside of a uh, F-22 Raptor or a MiG-35, um, and uh, the early Irwin Power Builder tools that were available in the day, you know, seemed all about the buttons and the gizmos that required extensive training and lots of working project experience, really, to uh, ensure proficiency. Um, one of the things that, uh, so I'm drawing a, a correlation between business consoles and, and some of the consoles that uh, perhaps uh, others are familiar with. Note the engineering similarities, by the way, between the uh, cockpit control panel of uh, the technologies that are involved. I think it's uh, very impressive that they're so similar. And uh, Wall Street Journal today, actually, uh, page 810 had the, uh, the uh, you know, in the peacetime, uh, you know, uh, technology certainly competes as well. And, and the article had to do with the fact that the uh, European Union is uh, uh, being... Um, um, officers, well, actually condemned for putting $20 million worth of investment into Airbus, and uh, that argument works uh, the other way as well because uh, immediately the EU uh, put up a, a complaint uh, when the United States government put $20 million into Boeing's new technology in uh, the form of loans. But the point is that corporations today are also at war and to the victor certainly belongs the spoils. To design our, our business console uh, does look very similar to uh, some of the technologies that I've shown. We would like some real-time notifications to be able to be aware of new business opportunities uh, and see how the, uh, the potential issues might impact our operations. We would want some in-depth insight for our console to be able to inform us about actual items through uh, dashboards and configurations, root cause analysis for helping us analyze process breaks, as well as the capability to take proactive actions in our software business console. So much like the flight deck, these complex elements do need to be understood to operate and plan and gain a competitive advantage. People use tools that they like, and certainly tools that they don't like do not get used. So the goal would be to have our business console to enable us to visualize across geo market segments, offer agile benefits of using the cloud, and be available to run anytime, anywhere, from any browser. So first we would discover and document our business processes. We'd understand what interdependencies exist. We would build and model organizations, workflows, activities, strategies, goals, key performance indicators, rules, service components, and we'd want to know and understand how all of these interact with existing IT infrastructure, applications, and data. So I have a question, and if you would be kind enough just on the comment to type in, what is the most prevalent corporate visual modeling tool used today? And we'll wait just a few moments. Very good. So I see a variety of answers that have come in, and yes, looks like many of them are, in fact, um, detailing that Visio certainly is 
the prevalent visual modeling tool today. We would want to use in our next generation console, business console, familiar tools and notations. We'd like to be able to see those familiar notations, although there are many custom notations and languages that have uh, come out in the market uh, based on pure play VPM solutions, but certainly one of the tools that everybody likes and uses is video, and that's the point. 